Welcome to the 900 megahertz Overlook. I'm Tim Cross, the director of the NMR and MRI program here at the National High Magnetic Field Lab. This is the strongest MRI magnet in the world. Most state-of-the-art magnets in hospitals have a field strength of about three tesla. The 900 megahertz magnet is actually a 21 tesla magnet. The bore size of this magnet is four inches, significantly larger than uh, most of the other magnets in the facility. We conduct a wide range of MRI experiments, a lot of animal research associated with Alzheimer's or cancer, muscle degeneration. The advantage of MRI is that you don't have to sacrifice the animal in order to conduct a, a detailed chemical and imaging study on the individual animals. What's so important about the 4-inch bore? We're able to look at adult animals and as a result can look at many more disease models. We also do a lot of NMR spectroscopy. This is a very closely related technology to that of MRI. However, instead of looking at just the hydrogen atoms in these samples, the way MRI looks at the hydrogen atoms in water that give rise to the bright signals that we see in MRI images. We can look at a wide variety of different atomic nuclei. We can look at the nitrogens, we can look at the carbons, we can look at the oxygens. And we can then map these nuclei in a three-dimensional image of proteins or nucleic acids. This is very helpful in drug development. And we are in the process now of developing very high-resolution images of a couple of drug targets, not only for influenza, but also for tuberculosis. This magnet looks a lot different than the other ones we've seen. Why is that? This is a superconducting magnet. The superconducting wire in this magnet is niobium-titanium and niobium-3-tin. These coils have no resistance, and as a result, there is no need to have the magnet connected to a power supply. So it's a very efficient, a very green magnet technology. However, the materials require minus 270 centigrade, and such a low temperature requires the use of liquid helium and liquid nitrogen, and in fact, much of the volume of the magnet in front of you is really associated with these cryogens.